Okay, um, your video scope is um, a very delicate piece of equipment which you probably have paid quite a lot of money for so um, we'd like you to keep it working in the best condition. So um, just taking you through the parts on the scope, you have three main sections, your handpiece, you have your insertion tube, is the second main piece which ends in the bending section which has within it all the different ports, light, air and water, working channel etc. And the third part to your endoscope is the umbilical which goes back to your light source and in this particular one the bottom part goes in the light source, the top part is for your video connection so you can get an image on the side of here the little barb is for the suction and on this side that little port is for your air water bottle to go in. Working from the handpiece you have a large wheel which is nice and clearly marked in this one you have up and down so anti-clockwise for up clockwise for down and anti-clockwise for left clockwise for right. You have your brake for your up down and also your left and right. This part of the unit is where you can attach your auxiliary camera and recording device which comes complete with the unit. And this is your part for your working channel uh, for your biopsy put, um, forceps, cleaning brushes, etc. This is the bending section and if you're using the large wheel to go up and that has the largest amount of articulation on this particular scope so it goes back a full 210 degrees and then down and then back to straight and then the up and down, sorry, the left and right. Show you the full articulation of that. Some points of um, that you need to take extreme care with with your video scope. Um, don't give extreme bending. Always bend it in a reasonable arc similar to what the arc of the scope is within the case you get. Never flex it or twist it and ensure that if the patient is if you ever have to have the patient under very light anesthesia for whatever reason you may need to clinically always remember to use the bite guard between the, the teeth just to stop any damage. We see quite a bit of damage come back from scopes uh, for this reason. The bending section this should never be, you never, should never try to bend this with your fingertips or hands. Always use the wheels um, on the endoscope as this could damage the pulley system within. Remember when you're taking out the scope that you always need to put this back to straight before removing from your patient. The simplest way to do that is imagine these wheels at, from this angle at 10 to 2. If they're both at the 10 to 2 then your bending tube is straight and you should then be able to withdraw the endoscope insertion tube. Although this um, endoscope is fully immersible and it does come with your leak detector um, to make sure that is still leak proof, we'd recommend really for ease of use and simpleness is to really never immerse the handpiece itself and to always just wash this down with um, lightly dampened gauze swab with alcohol solution. Um, another point on endoscopes, we see an awful lot of these back because they're not cleaned properly. So as soon as you use this endoscope, at least once it goes into body cavity, you will get um, biofilm, etc. will be within your um, working channel. It can go into your air and water. As soon as these are blocked, it's a very costly and expensive repair if the repair can be done at all. Uh, another point where we see um, a few people get into trouble with their endoscopes 
is when you're using the biopsy forceps and you have picked up your your um, biopsy some people try to remove these by pulling the biopsy force straight back down the working channel it's always recommended that you pull both keep the biopsy forcep within the um, the tube and actually pull them both out together and this will um, ensure that you don't damage your endoscope. Before using your endoscope always check through all of the instructions and please take particular attention to the care guidelines on handling. Um, this will ensure that your endoscope um, remains healthy and have a long life with you and work to its optimum. We always recommend that endoscopes really shouldn't be kept in their case. If you're going to keep it in the case then you need to follow a few rules. You need to give it at least an hour or so to become get up to room temperature and allow it to naturally unbend. The other thing that you need to do is, um, as I say, it's probably best to store it upright and you can do that on the cart system um, quite easily with the uh, MagTech videos. Okay, so keep the endoscope out. Also, it helps during, um, if, you, if you need to use it in a procedure, it's ready to go and it can be billed straight away which helps cover the cost to pay. Put in your uh, video endoscope into your light source and combined video processor. Just put it in like this. To attach the water bottle, it just goes into the port within the video endoscope on this side. And for your suction, it will go into the barb on the right hand side as you face it. And that goes down to your aspirator which is stored on the trolley. Turning it on, very simple, power on, stand by, makes the light go on, you have your pump on and off and the brightness. So we can see here we have the light on. This new processor comes with an LED uh, light source, which means um, it should last you a very long time and no um, costly bulb changes. And as you can see, there is now an image on the screen. This gives you an indication of the quality that you will see and the detail. This is just held within my hands. Okay, to put on the auxiliary um, camera onto this video scope, which will give you an image at the same time as your main screen, literally goes on to the mounting post there. Screw that on tight and put the cable into the small port on the left hand side and then it's a very simple turn on hold the power on and uh, you can see we have the same image as on the main screen and from this camera it's very very handy it has a small 8 gigabyte card mini SD which sits there which can be taken straight to a PC produces images as JPEGs and you will also be able to save video as an MP4 file.